In my first very depressive lockdown winter period, I decided to write poems about what depressed me for a long time and create something new. For years I've already been playing soundtrack music on my piano and also created many melodies of my own. This winter melancholy led me to my very first own song. After a few weeks I performed my song to a close friend and to my big surprise he was very touched and said, with my voice I have to go to the studio and record it. Bill is such a talented person and, um, and he is inspiring. He's one of these guys um, with this vision and um, that makes him special because he brings things forward and uh, I love that. Together we connected with another German music legend. His name was Martin Ernst. It was very exciting to work with him and a very exciting process. It was so much fun meeting Bela for the first time. A friend of mine, LK, he brought us together and he said, uh, we are in a new big project and uh, we need a good studio for recording vocals. And, uh, and I said, okay, let's see what we can get together. My first impression already was what, what a nice and charismatic guy and also, man, what a crazy dude. If you want something in life you never had, you have to do something you never did. Hey guys, are you ready? <laughs> he was talking about like all these big visions <laughs> and uh, about, okay, gonna go to Los Angeles, shoot the video. And that was at a time actually when people couldn't even enter the States and things were pretty tight with the uh, COVID virus. My film team and I, we went to LA to shoot my first music video. And despite the circumstances of the onerous entry requirements, there was absolutely no other option for me to tell this story. So I had to find another way to make it possible and um, I asked the best travel organizer that I know and Marco was the best help ever. How did I get Bela and his team to the United States with these extreme corona regulations? That was a real challenge because Europeans were not allowed to enter the United States. I organized a trip that Bela and his team stay outside of Europe for two weeks and then travel to the USA via Doha. That was a little bit more expensive for Bela and more tricky for me, but we have made it. We chose America as location for the music video because uh, natural light conditions in America are amazing and cannot be compared to Germany. We shot on the most stunning locations like the Grand Canyon, in Las Vegas, in the Hollywood studios and on the Santa Monica Pier. Shooting in the Nevada desert went far beyond anything and was more challenging than anything else. With this music video, we wanted to tell the story of a journey. So in the pre-production process, we decided to go with a camera that is flexible and really fast to work with, but on the other hand also provides a cinematic quality. It was my aim to express the vision and feeling of freedom of a way of life, which is only possible in America, and we were able to capture that. To me it was very important to work only with real musicians and real instruments for the track, because I don't like sound from the box. I composed every note by myself, and the experience had was brought to life by strings and my studio guitarist. For me it was like a melodic orgasm. We paid a lot of attention to to the sound design and little effects. So there's a lot going on in the track and it was a lot of fun to work out, work out these details. We were actually like treating it as if it was uh, like a movie soundtrack, only that it was a symphonic rock song. El approached me one day and he brought a song with him and it was Towards the Stars and he showed it to me and I listened to it and I was like, Ooh whoa, that's a big one. And then he asked me, hey, do you want to master it? So I ended up uh, uh, mastering the song and I think it's, it's just an incredible piece of music. And, and for a young artist like, uh, like Bela is, uh, what a debut, it's, it's just phenomenal. I love it. I make music for such a long time and, and produce, um, yeah, for such a long time as well. And now it's the first time that things happen this way and it's, it's magic. My dream, Immediately I really like the song because it's a very strong composition, 
has a nice chorus and it's catchy and it touches you and it just stays in your head. It's an epic production, so many details and so many transitions and on top of that um, the charismatic voice of Bela. When Bela played his song for me on the piano and told me that he wanted to shoot the accompanying video in the US, I knew immediately that I'm in. My director of photography, Andreas Pape, with whom I realized already several other projects, also joined me for my first music video to bring my vision to life. Andreas is absolutely fantastic. He has that, that vision and he has that magic eye to capture aesthetics and beauty. And he also has lots of rock and roll experience that was very important to me from concert pieces that he filmed for Limbiscuit, Man of War or Alice Cooper, to name but a few. Storytelling is very important to me and I was very happy to be involved in writing the storyboard of the video already from scratch when I first listened to the rough mix of the song. I really like working with Bela because he has a very clear idea of what he wants, but he's always open to our ideas. My camera operator Niels Rebein enriches the whole team in any way he can. His abilities on the gimbal are top notch and, you know, actually there's only one thing I can say about Niels. If you have him on board, on your film set, you just won. To me as an editor, also being on set can be really helpful because uh, when I start editing, I already have an idea of the, of the footage that I'm going to work with. When I'm on set, it's also a big advantage uh, that I'm able to suggest to Andreas which shots would be helpful later in editing. At the end of the production, I was given the great honor of being the first artist in the world to publish an hour 3D with the first song. So I really want to say thank you, Wilfried van Bellen, for this amazing chance, for your work and this extraordinary sound. I always give 100%, but like Bela and his team, they were at 110%. Like he has a very intuitive approach to music and he knows clearly what he likes, what he doesn't like and how he wants stuff to sound like. Bella did not have a doubt. He just started to do something, something big. We just decided to make things happen and just realized it all by ourselves. Well, starting as strangers and ending as friends, what more can you expect? I'm proud of where we are. I'm proud of our first song. I'm proud of the project. I'm proud of Bella. And let me say it like this, it's only the beginning. I'd like to say thank you to Al, the uncle of Kalma, music producer. Actually, his real name is Al Krot, and I love you, man. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for sharing your network with me and your engagement concerning my first production. You are amazing. I also want to thank Ali Rink and Axel Steinbiss for, I mean, what a phenomenal job. I really want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for the magic that you guys touched my song with. To Martin Ernst, I'm so happy that I have won you as an amazing friend through my musical project and it is absolutely fantastic what you get out of me vocally. To Anke Boyd, what an excellent job. Thanks a lot. A special thanks goes to Andreas Pape and Nils Rebein for unbelievable four weeks in the US and I really adore the everyday work you have done which could not be more professional and our journey has only just begun. I want to say thank you to Marco Mansheimer for making the high-end equipment available to us. We couldn't have made it without you. Another special thanks goes to my PR manager Oliver Carter for your inspiration, for your love and your support. Thank you Hermann Gier for mastering my song. It's an honor to have you on board, man. And finally, I want to say thank you to my parents Birgit and Thorsten for all your love in the world, for giving me my musical talent and um, basically, uh, you know, my dad is a famous jazz composer and introduced me already as a child to what belongs to the best music. And this production was a long ride and I'm proud and truly touched that I can say we finally made it. The message of my first production, the message of my first song, don't wait for something big, make something big yourself.